And then we are back today in Ginger Island. And we're going to kind of keep going on our pretty aggressive walnut grind. Which sounds kind of like a weird thing to say if you don't know what I'm talking about. But obviously you do, because you're watching this. So I think a pretty good chunk of today is just clearing the farm, getting some sprinklers set up, and just planting random seeds. So like everything I planted there doesn't really matter. I planted a bunch of coffee and like mixed seeds, melons, like whatever I had left over that grows relatively fast and like some multiple harvest stuff. And I just planted it there because you need to harvest stuff to get a couple of the random walnuts. Ideally you would plant something that grows in like four days, like parsnips and or like I think wheat doesn't work. I think wheat, wheat is bugged. Um, anything that has a really short harvest time because the sooner as you can harvest it, the better, because you'll get potentially golden walnuts from it. And then I also did plant some uh, wheat, or one wheat and one melon, because I need those to grow for the gourmand like frog puzzle. And I don't know, I won't say much more about that, but you'll see later on. And then yeah, so I mentioned before I wanted to bring some fence posts. And if you don't have an upgraded watering can, that's the only way that I know that you can fix or do that puzzle right there. Because usually you just like charge your watering can and water that little like mole thing. But if you block his holes with fence posts, you can do it too. So um, today is a lot more, I mean, it's a lot more melon, melon, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a lot more walnut hunting, either just chasing it down or we'll probably do some fishing and like volcano runs to try and get more of them as well as volcano runs to update or upgrade our weapons jeez i keep saying the uh like wrong stuff today i don't know why um i think these like tiger slimes up here drop a couple different um walnuts separate from the ones inside the mines but I'm not entirely sure. I know they can drop them, though. And, uh... I don't know if I do, like, the Simon Says thing. I know I mentioned, like, last episode that I don't exactly excel at that particular one. But there are some tricks to it I can... I'll talk about um, when I do it. I don't think I do it today, though. I wasn't really feeling the whole, uh... memory test. I mean, I guess the easiest trick is, like, technically if you record your footage and play it back if your memory is really that bad. Or if you have like actual issues with your memory, that's the one way to do it. Um, I don't know, it's like my least favorite puzzle in this game, I would say. So our next, our next major goal with walnuts is to unlock the Professor Snail area. And um, it's like where you basically pan for um, fossils and stuff too. So I think that costs 20 walnuts. And then once we open that up, we'll be able to rescue Professor Snail and turn in like fossils and stuff and do that fossil grind. So slowly but surely we're working our way towards that 100. It's gonna take a little while though. It's not something that you can really do in like one day. I don't think it's even possible. I think it takes, I don't know, at least, probably at least a week. There's a little gnat flying around. It's driving me crazy right now. It's like, I don't know. I, I don't know if you've ever dealt with this before, but if you get like gnats in a plant, they're so frustrating to get rid of. And they don't really do anything, but they're just really annoying. Like, I feel like they always find a way to be hovering in front of your face. Um, anyway. So I guess, I don't know. Yeah, we have, do we have enough? I think we have enough walnuts now. I didn't see the counter, but... We are heading that direction. And I think it's 20, it could be only 10. Yeah, it's just 10, so. Um, we'll just go over there, probably bomb all those rocks just to get rid of them, and then bomb the little cave that Professor Snail is trapped in. And you could also like, so I'd never go in that cave, but I'm pretty sure like a lot of unique mushrooms grow in there, which can come in handy if you need to make life elixirs or um, I guess that's really the only reason, but 
or if you need them for collection challenges and stuff. And this is also the best place to pan for um, anything really. If you're trying to look for a lucky ring still, or if you're in need of the fossils or just minerals, panning here is the easiest because you can hear when the little panning spot spawns and you can find it really, really quickly. And it seems like they spawn pretty frequently there, so that is kind of nice. And um, yeah, so we got Professor Snail out. He is probably my... Oh, I skipped a cutscene, I guess. I don't know what I did there. Um, his part of this island might be my second least favorite thing behind um, the Simon Says puzzle. Just because some of the fossil stuff is just... It's a luck that... And it's really frustrating to get because it's mostly luck based. You can technically manipulate it a little bit, which I can explain probably a little bit later on, but otherwise some of the fossils you need to collect are super luck based. And um, if one of them is, I guess a lot of them are. So the triceratops head or whatever like the big beast is, that's a pain because it's from a, a, uh, a geode, a golden coconut. And if you don't have the predictor, it's kind of just based on luck when you're going to get it. Um, I think the snake spines are from artifact spots that only spawn on the farm area. And so that can be really challenging because you need two of them and it's pretty low chance. And I think it's the same with the larger animals ribs, which are only artifact spots that spawn in the south of the island. And I know you can technically manipulate that by hoeing a certain number of times before you hoe the artifact spot. Like for example, if you hoe up the artifact spot and it's Omni Geodes, you can go to or you can reset your day, hoe once before it, and check again. And then do that over and over again with increasing the amount of times you hoe before you hoe the artifact spot. And it will chains chains. It'll change what's in it, and that only works on Ginger Island, but you can do that. And it's probably recommended just to avoid some of the frustration, but I don't know how consistent it is, or like if it changes every single time you hoe, or every 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, that kind of thing. So it could get kind of tedious, but I know that does work um, to kind of manipulate your way into a quicker fossil. And I'd probably recommend doing that. And, uh, and yeah, so we're back in the volcano again. We pretty much did everything we needed to do on the island, aside from the whole Simon Says deal. And so we might as well just run through here while we have time. I don't know what my luck is. And in all actuality, I don't think I check very often anymore. Just because I don't actually care, I guess. I'll check once in a while, um, and if it's like perfect luck, I might go to the Skull Cavern still, but that's that's going to be relatively rare. That'll be if I have like a ton of staircases um, saved up, or a ton of bombs, or the magic rock candy and stuff. But right now our, our only focus is really the opening up the walnut room, or walnut what is it called? Key's special room, that thing. Or Qui, or Chi, whatever you want to call him. And um, I guess I didn't say why I want to unlock that area, but the main reason is for the um, Key's challenges. And I want to unlock the Dangerous Mines challenge, and that way we can farm radioactive bars, because those are worth um, like 3,000 or 2,500 or something. And so they're pretty good to farm. And we can also get um, the key gems and buy things like the heavy tappers and just basically get um, our keg operation moving a little faster. I also want to upgrade our weapon to the infinity hammer or infinity gavel or whatever it's called. And so yeah, and we got to the forge again. So I do these upgrades in a very specific order. Uh, once again, I'm utilizing the predictor. 
because this is all predetermined with your game seed. So I knew that if I did my watering can first and my pickaxe second, I would get the infinite watering can and I would get the swift pickaxe, which normally I would get powerful for my pickaxe, but because we're not doing animation canceling, we just do swift instead, so it's a little tiny bit faster. And uh, that's where we end up. And that's it. We're going to call it a night. Um, so that wasn't a bad second day. We got more stuff accomplished, but uh, today is going to be kind of more of the same. I think we might step back to the farm for a bit. But again, I don't have a concrete plan. I'm just kind of like mostly my day consists of like I do a quick run through. I run back to the farm, see what's going on there. If I need to go back or like, I don't know, I just run around. I route out the whole day, restart over and then play the day in a more effective way. Right. So like I already know I need to go back to the farm because whatever I saw on my routing required me to do that. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And I don't have like a a week to week or even a day to day plan on what we're doing. And we got super lucky right there with uh, two island warp totems. Or no, maybe, oh, we know what we didn't. We got lucky with Ginger and I made two island warp totems. I thought we got them. Which I think you can, but I think it's pretty rare. And, uh, and so yeah, so we're gonna just do a couple little golden walnut things and probably get ready to expand our farm a little bit further. Some of the golden walnuts will be inaccessible until we have journal scraps. But I think that's only two or three of them. And some others will be inaccessible until we unlock the island resort. And that will be a little ways from now. And so yeah. So yeah, the rest of the day, just clearing more farm space. I think... We're, I think the reason we go back to the farm is to grab more sprinklers and seeds. And, uh, I know at some point we need to go to the desert so we can buy starfruit and get a starfruit farm set up. And then we'll also need a bunch of DSG. So we might, like, I think I might go today to get the starfruit seeds since I won't be watering them. And that way tomorrow when I go to buy the DSG, I can still put DSG on them. And it'll be like I had planted them tomorrow. It doesn't make a difference, basically. And uh, I never did get to see my ducks swim. It's crazy. Like the, I, I actually had a dream, like in real life, that my ducks were swimming, which is a weird, like kind of a lame dream. But Oh, here's the thing I was talking about a while ago where... If you save all these pumpkins for um, after you get the magnifying glass, they have a super high chance of dropping the secret notes. So you can farm them all out like really, really fast. And that's what I'm doing here. And I actually didn't get the one note I needed, which was I was hoping for the one that lets you give the dude a rabbit's foot. But I didn't. And I tried to give it to him without having the note and it wouldn't let me, so... I don't know if I did something wrong or what. Or no, maybe I tried to talk to him and you can't talk to him without a rabbit's foot. So I don't know. At some point I'll do that because I need to have better luck. And yeah, we got more kegs ready to go. And we're starting to run low on some of our resources, specifically iron. And mostly just because we haven't been doing any cavern dives. So that might actually force us back into the caverns. Which isn't, is not the worst thing. And uh, it'll be a lot less stressful because we don't have to have like a perfect run. But yeah, so here I am just setting up the, uh, the second shed. So hopefully we'll get that completed relatively soon. And uh, and kind of ignore this area for the next week or so. Oh, yeah, and I guess we should technically come back every day for jades. 
because those jades, I don't know if it's every, I think it's every three days or so. If we, if we build the obelisk, which really should be a priority at this point, um, it'll be a lot less cumbersome to have to come back. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that soon. I don't think we are, but I... We should, I don't... But I don't think we do. So, I guess that's a sneak preview of that. And then, yeah, pickles. Pickles, I don't know. I've, I've grown very tired of my pickle venture, even though I know it's technically worth it. It's just not as, uh... You don't get that huge amount of money like you do with starfruit wine, so it's a little bit harder to be jazzed about, you know what I mean? So. And yeah, I guess, man, like, the amount of chores you have to do in the winter is so low. Like, it's already 4 o'clock and we're basically done. The only thing is we should have... No, I guess we got what we need. I should buy some beets. I hope I do that. I didn't. Um, I should get some beets so I can put them in Lewis's fridge to unlock the casino and stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to even do that or if I already did or if I do in the future. I don't know. Um, but that's something that's good to grow on uh, Ginger Island, you know, since there's no seasons. But yeah, the rest of the day is going to be basically prepping all the land. It takes forever. I think it's going to take until like midnight. Yeah, like one in the morning it took. And none of it's watered. Well, luckily tomorrow it will be. We'll throw a DSG on it. And then in like nine days or whatever, we'll have a huge harvest of starfruit. And basically start that process all over. We might do... Maybe we'll transfer over to like starfruit jelly. Because that's worth a decent amount. We already have all those... Uh, those preserve jars kind of banked up. But who knows? I, uh... I think I'm a few days ahead of this in the playthrough, but I don't remember. I've been doing a different playthrough that's, like... It's incredibly tedious, the thing I'm doing. And, uh, it doesn't really take any, like, brain power to power through it. Like, I do most of it while I'm, like, riding on an exercise bike, which is kind of crazy. And, uh... So I've just been thinking about that playthrough, which I'll have that in a video, like, relatively soon. It's going to be another, like, hundred days kind of deal. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. And I will see everybody next time around. See ya.